What's up guys, in the previous video we talked about the require function and the relationship between exports and module.exports. Now in this video we're going to talk about Node.js module caching. So in Node.js when we require a module, Node.js will run the code inside that module and whatever is the value of module.exports, it will cache that inside the memory. So next time if you require the same module, Node.js will not run the code inside that module again and it will return that module.exports value from the memory. So let's just prove that uh, with an example. So here we have a module2.js. So we have a console.log statement and then we are assigning to module.exports an object. Now this will be exported from this uh, module. So we have func2 which is a function, sum which is a function and alpha which have a primitive value. So inside app2 we are requiring module2 and then we are printing the value of alpha that is 10. So it will print 10 and then we are incrementing the value of alpha with 1 so it will become 11. So again we are requiring the same module because Node.js modules are cached so this will uh, result in that same object module.exports object being returned so it will print 11 here rather than printing 10 so let's just run this file so node app 2.js so it first uh, prints 10 because of this x dot alpha which is 10 then we incremented this and then it printed 11 so this is what it means when we say Node.js modules are cached because it doesn't return new uh, object module.exports object because if it would have returned this value would have printed 10. So this is how Node.js modules are cached but sometimes you will require to return new objects every time you require the module. To do that what we do is we return a function. So here we have a module 3 file where we are assigning a function to module.exports so whenever we require this module what will be returned is a function and then we can execute that function so this will return always a new object so here in app3.js we are requiring the module3.js and since this returns a function we can execute that function and that will result in returning a new object every time we uh, execute that function so module 3 returns a function because we have ex uh, assigned module.exports to a function and then we execute that function that returns a new object so here we are getting an object and we are accessing the alpha property which is uh, 10 I think so let's see what is there it's 10 so we are incrementing that by 1 and then we are printing it so it will print 11 now again we are requiring the same module but this time we are calling that function so it will return a new object so here we are printing the alpha so here it should print 11 and here it should print 10 because every time we call a function it returns a new object so let's just prove that so node app3.js And you can see that uh, the code uh, is not uh, executed again so in module 3 we have this console.log statement it just printed one time so if you see that it was just printed one time module m3 which is there in module file and in the case of this uh, module 2 also when we try to require this module multiple times only first time this mod, uh, this console.log statement was returned is was printed so that proves that node.js modules are cached and if you want to return a new object every time you require uh, that module you can export a function and then call that function that will return a new object so this is how we can do that and one more thing that uh, i just want to point out is since this code runs in a wrapper so node.js runs this code inside a wrapper we don't have globals so what we are returning here like in this module 2.js we are returning this object which have a sum function so in app 2 we are requiring this module 2 so suppose we are requiring another uh, module that have that sum function 
so we can call that function with y dot sum and here we can call it with x dot sum so we, we won't have any conflict in that case so because that code runs in a wrapper uh, that's why we don't have this globals so node.js will run your code inside an ify so this code will run inside an ify so we don't have global and this will save us by the naming conflicts that we can get 